I'm a bioengineer because bioengineering is a field that truly ties together all the different topics to solve problems and further the world. Bioengineering to me is two main things. Firstly, bioengineering allows us to explore the frontier of human knowledge. And secondly, it allows us to leverage that knowledge to extend the reach of medicine and biology in general. Uh, Biochess was founded in the early 2000s to uh, and encourage excellence in bioengineering and to advance the uh, field as a whole. Um, so to do that, we uh, organized a lot of opportunities for our members to gain perspectives on what they could do in their uh, postgraduate lives. Uh, and we also uh, provide services to the general community so that they can understand what bioengineering is and how they can either benefit from it or contribute to its success. Another service that BioEHS provides to its members is for the opportunity for them to explore their future. So one of the ways we do that is by bringing industry opportunities to our members. And we invite speakers um, to our general meetings uh, and to workshops uh, to share their experiences about, bio, uh, about bioengineering, whether it's in the industry or in grad school. Uh, Bus to me is a uh, community of friends, of uh, colleagues, uh, classmates who I can know that I can count down to for social support and for academic support, uh, but it's also a platform for people like me with the, to really translate our ideas to projects that can actually fit the bioengineering community as a whole. Over the last three years, BioEHS has been holding a bioengineering high school competition called BioEHSC. Our competition aims to increase the exposure of students to bioengineering. We do that by pairing them with an undergraduate researcher as a mentor. And over six weeks, a team of four to five high school students work with this undergraduate researcher to create a technical solution to a biomedical problem. In the past, teams have created projects like hydrogels that release antioxidants to prevent radiation damage from imaging. Uh, teams have made a regenerative cyanobacteria to, make, to improve hydrogen fuel cell production. Um, by participating in competitions like this, students can go beyond what they traditionally learn in their high school curriculum and really get a handle of bioengineering. Well, we're working with different companies and groups, including biotech startups across the country and internationally as well. And we're also working with Teach for America to help improve our high school outreach and educational outreach in general about bioengineering. Working with these groups allows members who are students of bioengineering currently get a real idea of how bioengineering is involved in the real world. And this interaction kind of encourages undergrads to be more involved with the field that they're learning about inside the classroom and seeing how their efforts can be applied in the real world today and in the future. Moving forward from here, BioChess is looking to expand our view from just the Bay Area and kind of the California area to a more national view as well. Already we've gotten interest in our high school competition from schools in Nevada and Texas and we're hoping to expand the competition to be a national competition in the coming years as well. Beyond Berkeley, BioChess is involved in spreading what bioengineering means to the general public. Because once people know more about a topic, naturally they're more interested and curious to learn more about it and become more involved with it as well. And ultimately, as members of BioChess, we're excited to spread our passion of bioengineering to the next generation of bioengineers.